The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are you not, are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid, brothers and sisters. Good morning. Magandang umaga po. Pakibati din ang good morning ang ating mga katabi. It's a beautiful Sunday morning for worship, for prayer, together as a community. We are on the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And if you are following us online in our daily masses, we have started our countdown for our parish fiesta. Yung atin pong fiesta ay sa July 6. That's the feast of our patron, Santa Maria Goretti. Kaya bihis na bihis na siya. Ang kanyang uh, image ay palibot na ng bulaklak. Um, pink and uh, yellow flowers, Ecuadorian flowers, <laughs> because of somebody who sponsored our flowers. And we are counting down the 14 flowers of pardon of Santa Maria Goretti. I don't know if you're familiar with this tradition uh, related to Santa Maria Goretti. Just a very quick, perhaps, story. Si Santa Maria Goretti, ang ating patron saint ng parokya, siya ay 12 years old nung siya ay pinatay. Hindi po siya namatay, siya po ay pinatay. Pinatay ng isang 20-year-old uh, young man, Alessandro Serenelli, who attempted, attempted to violate her at sinaksak siya 14 times. Sinaksak yung bata, mercilessly. Sinaksak si Maria Goretti. So for she suffered from these 14 stab wounds and she bled to death. At that time, walang available na anesthesia. So when she was being stitched on, when she was being operated on by the doctors, there was no anesthesia. So imagine the unbearable pain of the of the of the stab wounds, the the yeah, uh, hindi pa nga daw ko kuchilyo eh. I will verify pero hindi talaga kuchilyo yung pinangsaksak sa kanya. I speak. So it could have been really painful for her and Alessandro was put into prison, sentenced to 30 years imprisonment, but she wa he was not remorseful. Hindi siya nagsisi. Talaga ang sabi niya, ang pakiramdam niya, eh siya may kasalanan eh kung pumayag lang siya, hindi siya namatay. <laughs> Ganon ka tigas ang ulo ni Alessandro Serenelli. And then after the eight year of imprisonment, nagpakita sa kanya si Santa Maria Goretti na dream. And Santa Maria Goretti was carrying flowers, 14 flowers she gave to Alessandro. And from that dream, Alessandro was filled with guilt. Uh, sising sisi siya sa nangyari sa kanyang ginawa sa batang ito. Kaya po meron tayong 14 flowers of pardon. If you look at the image of Santa Maria Goretti, meron siyang kutsilyo na hawak at meron din siyang flowers sa kabila. Reminding us of first her martyrdom, that she was stabbed to death, but she was able to transform this pain or this tragedy into a story of healing, of hope, of forgiveness. Si Alessandro Serenelli, if you're familiar with his story, nagbago siya, he converted, 
And then later on in life, nung nakalaya na siya, matandang-matanda na siya, he attended the beatification of Santa Maria Goretti together with the mother of Santa Maria Goretti. And he became a lay brother in a religious congregation community. What a beautiful story of transformation, conversion from a killer to a religious brother. And Maria Goretti, she was able to transform the tragedy of her death into an occasion of pardon, of mercy and forgiveness and love. So that's why our patron, Santa Maria Goretti, no, she's a very good example of somebody who is able to transform a, a, a painful experience of death into something fruitful, into something that is capable or that's something that transforms or changes a person. Love can change everything. Love can heal all wounds. Forgiveness can take away our fear and fill our hearts with faith. Sa ating mga pagbasa ngayon, ang paalala sa atin ay huwag matakot. Ang sabi ng Panginoon sa ating Ebanghelyo from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 10, Fear no one. Fear no one. Anong ibig sabihin ng fear no one? Ibig ba sabihin ito na magiging fearless tayo? Iba ho yung do not be afraid sa fearless. Marami sa atin mga fearless people today. I don't know if you heard about you know, the explorers of the Titanic. Narinig niyo po ba yung kwento ng isang submersive, isang vehicle na dinadala nila sa ilalim ng Titanic. I think they call it the Titan. Yung mga uh, billionaire adventurers, they went down to the Titanic wreckage and then sila din ay nagkaroon ng implosion at sumabog yung yung submersive, parang submarine na pumupunta sa pinakailalim and they perished, they all died pero winarin nga nila they were already warned that vehicle that you use in going down hundreds of meters down the sea in order to see the wreckage of the Titanic that is not safe they have been warned but they are so full of a, a, a sense of adventurism fearless, sabi nila nothing, nothing will harm us Minsan may mga ganong tao na yung very high sense of adventurism na they're fearless. Kaya yung kanilang mga sport ay yung mga talagang mga ultimate sports. Because they don't fear anything. I don't know if you are like that as a person, but it's not also healthy to be fearless. A sense of fear is important. In fact, it is one of the seven cardinal virtues, seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord means that you, know, you, you fear, you're afraid of offending God. So a healthy sense of fear is important. Mahalagang may takot din. Kasi pag walang takot yung tao, wala na siyang pakialam at wala na siyang pakiramdam. Ang tingin lang niya is all adrenaline, it's all, it's all, you know, adventurism. Dopamine drive. Yung parang lahat kaya mong gawin. Akala mo hindi ka masasaktan. You think you are invincible. Sometimes, you know, ako nararamdaman ko din yan minsan. No? When I ride a motorcycle, sometimes you feel you're invincible. Hindi mo alam na you are vulnerable. A lot of times in our life, we feel we are invincible. Akala natin hindi tayo masasaktan. Akala natin hindi tayo mabibigo. Akala natin happy lang tayo every time. But life... Life teaches us a very crucial and painful lesson that everything at any time can crash down. So you also have to be afraid in some way. But the fearlessness that the Lord is teaching us today is the f do not be afraid because you are great or you are good. It is not the fearlessness of an adventurer. Do not be afraid means I got you. Do not be afraid because I am with you. Do not be afraid of, of failure because you can get up from it. 
do not be afraid of losing of, of losing someone or losing a, a family member or or whatever it is that you are afraid of losing do not be afraid of losing because you also find something in the end dati dati po ako ay Ah, takot na takot no? na mawalan ng nanay o tatay. That was my greatest fear at some point in my life. That was my only greatest fear. I did not fear for my life. I'm a natural adventurer. Kaya nga po mahilig ako mag-bike, mag-motor. Kasi parang ang adrenaline rush ko minsan napakalakas na I fear nothing. For myself, I fear nothing. But for my parents, I'm very afraid of it. I was very afraid of losing them. There was a time that I was so afraid that my parents would get, would get sick. You know, lagi naman po ako nagdadasal na, Lord, sana laging healthy ang nanay, tatay ko. At ako po, pag nakakarinig po ako ng ganito sa inyo na, uh, Father, wala naman akong inihiling talaga sa buhay ko kung hindi good health lang po, Father. At the end of it all, wala na akong inihiling. Uh, hindi na ako gusto magpayaman pa o makapunta pa nung saan saan. Isa lang po ang inihiling ko, Father. Good health. Yun lang. Nothing more. Dati-dati, ganyan din po ang lagi kong hinihiling. No? Good health lang. Lord, wala nang iba. Eh, namatay yung parents ko. Both of them. One after another. And everything came crashing down. Ah, yung palang kinakatakutan mo na mangyayari, pwede palang mangyari. The thing you fear the most can really happen. And when it does, it hits you so hard, it hits you so painfully that sometimes everything comes crashing down. And now you are paralyzed by that experience. You are traumatized by that loss, by the failure, by the, you know, by the experience of tragedy in your family and your life. And then you become afraid after that. You become tentative, hesitant, you lose your confidence, you lose your self-esteem, your self-worth, and you begin to doubt yourself. You begin to have panic attacks, you begin to have anxiety and all that. Dumarating sa punto ng buhay natin na nagiging matatakotin na tayo. And there was a point in my life that I was like that. Naging matatakotin ako kasi, Oh Lord, kinuha mo na yung dalawa. Sino pa kukunin mo? Then take me now if you want. Parang nagiging ganun ka na. No? Eh, kinuha mo na yung mahalagang tao sa akin. Eh, ano pa kukunin mo? Eh, kunin mo na rin ako. And you sometimes, you argue with God and you say to God, uh, Why? Why do you do these things? Why do you make us afraid? No? Why do you inflict so much pain in us? Yan. Mga kapatid, what is your greatest pain? What is your greatest fear in your life? Has it happened already? Or are you still afraid that it might happen? Na magkasakit ka, o mag-away kayo mag-asawa, o maghiwalay kayo, o kaya mawalang mahal mo sa buhay. What is your greatest fear right now? We all have our fears. Mawala ang negosyo. <laughs> Meron po ako isang kaibigan, hindi ko nababagating kung anong pangalan, pero yun po ang lagi niyang, you know, ugali. Every time, mag-check siya ng kanyang bank account. <laughs> Parang yung online bank account niya, every day, i-check niya yan. Go online siya. Oh, nabawasan ba ng... Mabawasan lang ng konting ano yan. Talagang natatakot na siya. Nabawasan ng kanyang pera. Pakitingnan nga ang katabi mo. Takot bang mabawasan yung bank account niya no yung pera? <laughs> Kasi marami sa atin, ganun, takot na baka mawala na ako ng pera. Uh, as marami sa atin, takot din na mawala ng boyfriend, syempre, na mawala ng asawa. So, marami tayong takot. Uh, lately po, nagpunta kami mga pari sa Palawan. Nag nagkaroon po kami ng RNR. I, I think you heard about this. Uh, we went to uh, an outing with Cardinal Joe and all the priests sa Manila. At doon po kami sa El Nido, Palawan. No? Atin-atin na lang. Pero El Nido, Palawan, ang ganda po doon kasi ang nagaganda ng mga scenery and all that. Anyway, one of the activities in the outing is kayaking, kayak. Uh, familiar with the kayak? Yung kayak po yung, yun, kayak. <laughs> And meron akong partner na pare. Hindi ko na babanggitin, pero mag-research na lang kayo kung sino. So meron akong kasamang pare. Eh ako po, ako, laki ako sa ilog. Sa ilog ako lumaki, sa ilog ako natutong lumangoy, sa ilog ako natutong mamangka. So sa madaling salita, sanay ako sa pagsasagwan, sanay ako sa, uh, sanay ako sa bangka. Yung kasama kong pare, hindi. 
Takot na takot. Takot na takot siya. Eh kaya sinirit ko nang gusto yung kaya ko talaga. Binilisan ko na yung binilisan. Sabi niya, Father, Father, don't, 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 don't be too fast. Don't be too fast. Sabi ko, eh di ba sarado kong binibilisan. Eh don't worry, Father. We have your life jacket. The life jacket will save you. No, 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 no. Yan. So takot na takot siya kasi <laughs> ang bilis namin magkaya. So dinami-dami ng mga pare. Eto, Uh, nagyayabang si Father sa dinami-dami ng may kayak doon kami yung nauna sa lagun kaming dalawa wala siyang ginawa kung hindi sumigaw ng Father, Father, na too fast, na too fast e eh, ako naman, fast, fast, fast lang ako <laughs> takot na takot ko, what are you afraid of? ano ba kinakatakot mo? Eh, malulunod ka lang naman dyan eh huwag ka magalala, isa-save kita <laughs> bro, ah, isa-save kita dyan may life jacket ka naman so, I was playing with his fears And I was saying to myself, how cruel could I be? Nung pinaglalaro mo yung takot ng mga tao. At minsan, ganun tayo. Parang hindi natin naiintindihan yung mga takot ng mga tao sa paligid natin. We play with their fears. God is not like that. God understands our fears. And so He tells us, as He told Jeremiah in the first reading, I will be your champion. I will be with you. Do not be afraid. When troubles come and when people, when people attack you, Jeremiah, the Lord told him, I will be your champion. I will defend you. I will protect you. And this is the same thing that the Lord says to us in the gospel. Do not be afraid. Look at the, look at the birds of the air. Look at the swallows around you. No one of them falls to the ground without the knowledge of your Father. How much more, O oh you, beloved of my Father? Kung ang ibon nga alam at minamahal ng Diyos, paanong ikaw pa? Not a hair of your head will be forgotten. So do not be afraid. I got you. That's what you mean by not being afraid. It doesn't mean being fearless. It means that in spite of our fears and beyond our fears, He got us. He's, he is our champion. And even if in our fears, and even from our fears, the Lord can help us and save us. So today, friends, on this 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time, the Lord is telling you, telling us, don't be afraid. Huwag matakot. Cancer lang yan. Huwag matakot dyan. Kaya yan. Huwag ka matakot. God is your mighty champion. The losses, the failures, the traumas, the pains that you have gone through and you're going through, you move from the house of fear to the house of faith. To be faithful, not to be fearless. That's the message of the day. Faithful, meaning full of faith. Your heart must be full of faith. So that the fear will be less. It's not being fearless. It is about being free, faithful or full of faith. So today, I invite you, brothers and sisters, let us be full of faith. Let us move from the house of fear and move to the house of faith in the Lord, our mighty champion. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo, sa ating pagdiriwang. Maraming salamat sa mga pumunta dito, na mga parishioners natin at kahit po sa ibang lugar at dako. We are very much welcome to our parish, Santa Maria Goretti. At uh, again, nagsisimula na po tayo sa paghahanda para sa ating kapistahan, July 6. And on July 2, Sunday, we would like to invite you, Cardinal Joe Advincula will say Mass at 9am and he will also bless our 10th of pardon, this tent that is now finished. Nakalagay na din po dyan ang replica image ni St. Padre Pio and Santa Maria Goretti and that will be blessed by Cardinal Joe this uh, coming July 2 at 8.30 in the morning. So those who are interested to come, let us celebrate our parish fiesta, 7am Mass, our 14 flowers of pardon and Novena Masses and parish fiesta July 6. We have 7 a.m. Mass and 12.15 Mass as well as the 2 July 2 Mass 
with Cardinal Joe Advincula at 9am. So maraming salamat sa inyong pagsuporta sa ating mga programa, sa isang kanin, isang ulam for our unsheltered people, feeding program for the street dwellers, for our scholarship program and other projects. Sa Finally, sa likod po ay meron tayong mga bisita from Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish, yung dati ko pong parokya sa Santa Mesa. Meron lang po silang konting fundraising na raffle tickets. So if you're interested, you may wish to help my former parish. We're trying to help them already in their projects also. Kaya kung may uh, ano po kayo, konting na barya dyan, Bili po kayo ng ticket, na raffle ticket. Ang premyo yata ay motor, motorcycle. So pag nanalo kayo, bigay nyo na lang din sa akin para... <laughs> Ayan. Ayan. So you may wish to help our uh, neighboring parish from Santa Mesa, Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish. My former parish po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.